video, we are going to go over the process of adding a banner based on the customer segment. The first thing you'll need to do is go to CMS and then Banners. From here, you'll need to click Add Banner. Then let's give the banner a name. Select whether or not you would like it active and then choose which banner type it applies to. For this example, I'm going to use a specific banner type and I will say apply to header only. To specify which customer segment sees the banner, just go down here, click Specified and then select which customer segments you would like to view this banner. Next, let's go to content. And here you could either insert a widget, insert an image, or insert a variable. For the example I'm using, it's actually an image, but I have the code written out, so I'm just going to paste that in now. And then here at the bottom, you can select a specific store view. We're just using the default and having all views active. Then over on the left, you can select related promotions. Here you can see at the top, these are shopping cart price rules and these are catalog price rules. We'll just go ahead and leave these blank for now and then click save banner. You should get a message that says the banner has been saved. And then from here, we need to go back into CMS and go to widgets. On the right hand side, click add new widget instance. For type, select banner rotator. And for design package theme, we're just gonna go ahead and say enterprise default. Then click continue. Now the widget needs a title, so we'll just say segment banner. And then for store views, we'll just design it to all store views. Down here at the bottom right, you can add a layout update. So we can say display on specific pages. We'll go ahead and display this on all product types. And we'll set the block reference as page header. Next, let's move over to widget options. And here we'll select header again. It's uh, specified banners. For rotation road, we'll just leave it as do not rotate for now. And then down here is where you actually specify the banner. Right now, as you can see, this is set to yes, so it's displaying banners that have been chosen. We haven't chosen any, so it's showing no records. So I'll just set this to any, and then click search. And there you can see our segment banner. So we'll go ahead and check that, and then click save. And there you can see we have our new segment banner. So let's go ahead and hop over to the front end and see how that looks. All right, here we are at our Magento store. As you can see, there are no banners currently. So let's go ahead and head to a product page, which is where our banner should be displaying. And right up here is the banner that we added. Now, keep in mind, we could have added that as a left column or right column, header footer. There are a lot of different variations you can do to display the banner however you would like. So you can experiment, play around with it a little bit, and get the correct placement. Thanks for watching.